Hey guys and welcome back. Today's video we're installing WeCan along with Caddy using Docker Compose. WeCan is a task tool that uses Japanese Kanban methods where tasks are represented as cards that can be moved across various columns and each column represents a different stage of a process. First we're going to clone the GitHub repo, then we're going to modify the Docker Compose and the Caddy config files. Afterwards we spin up the containers. It's pretty straightforward so let's get to it. First, let's get logged into the server. Once we're connected, we need to ensure everything is up to date. Now that everything is up to date, we can build our containers. I started a GitHub to make things a little bit easier and more centralized moving forward. In the description below, we can copy the git clone command and go ahead and paste it into the terminal window. This is gonna create a directory called WeCan. Go ahead and switch over to that directory. Inside this directory, we have two files. We need to modify both of them to work with your configuration. So first, let's modify the docker compose file, nano docker compose.yaml, and we need to update the root URL. I have a temp domain I'm using for this example and go ahead and adjust the port to your liking. I'm using 5000 here. If you have an email server, you can uncomment the mail URL and enter the information there. Otherwise, this should be all the changes we need here. Go ahead and control X this, Y to save it, enter to overwrite the file. And now we can modify the caddy file. The nano caddy file. At the top here, we need to enter the email address we're going to be using to register the SSL certificates from Let's Encrypt. We need to enter our fully qualified domain name here. And for the reverse proxy, we need to enter the server IP address and the port that the container is running on. Mine was 5000, whatever you set in your Docker Compose file. Once you've made these changes, go ahead and control X how to save it, enter to overwrite the file name. In order for Caddy or any reverse proxy to work, you must forward ports 80 and 443 from the outside world to your reverse proxy in order for it to route the traffic appropriately. It's a different process for each manufacturer. For specific instructions, see your router or firewalls manual, or just search YouTube for your device model and port forwarding. Now we can spin up our containers. It is just Docker compose up oh, dash D. Once our containers are up, we can test we can locally. Go ahead and browse to your server address and the port that you specified. Mine was on 5000. And we can see that it's up and running here. And we'll go ahead and register an account. Since I did not specify an email server for WeCan, it generates this internal server error when registering an account since it can't send out the welcome email, but it does in fact create the account. So we'll go ahead and switch over to sign in and using that account we just created. We'll be able to log in and we can add a new board. And now let's test our domain name over HTTPS. And there it is. Go ahead and use the same login that we just created. And there's our test board. If you found this video useful, please share and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.